In this video we're just going to explore some of the basic elements of working with headers and footers in preparation for applying headers and footers throughout our thesis document. To get into your headers and footers the easiest way is just to double click at the top or bottom of your document and that will launch the header and footer tools design tab. So what we want to pay attention to really within a document is the way that we've structured it with section breaks. Um, the the normal way of applying different headers in different parts of a document is to use section breaks to achieve that. So each section can carry a unique header or a unique footer. So if we look at our document we've got a section break for our title page and what we can do is we can actually use the navigation group to skip through the different sections of our document rather than scrolling through which can be a bit time consuming. So if I click on next it will jump through to our content section. And what you should notice is that um, the linked previous icon becomes illuminated when I do that. So basically inherently all of your headers are linked together within uh, different sections. So what that means is that if I place some text in section 2 and I go back to section 1 it propagates through to that previous section. Generally speaking um, that's not what you'd want to do in a document like a thesis. You would probably want a distinct header in each section. So what you want to do is you want to generally go through and unlink. So what that means is that if I take the text out of section 2, um, if I've got text in section 1 that can be um, standalone if you like. I'm going to take that out of there as well and pop back to the um, section 2 header. If we navigate on to section 3 which is our thesis proper if you like, you'll see that that is also linked to section 2. So what I would need to do here is just unlink that as well. So my chapter section uh, is now isolated from the previous two sections. So if we just type in um, some text there and go back to the previous sections, it hasn't appeared in either of those. So it's now isolated, which is good. The difficulty for us, in a sense, is that when we assembled this document we utilised page breaks rather than section breaks to separate our chapters. So that means that we can only have one uh, header um, per section. So all of the chapters, if we enter the text manually, will have to carry the same header and that's not what we want. So doing this directly um, isn't going to work. So in the next video what we're going to look at is how we can get around that problem by using something called a style reference. What I want to look at before we do that though is just the um, the element of um, your footer as well because if we switch to the footer using the navigation panel here um, and I go on to the section 2 footer you'll notice that section 2 is linked to section 1 so there they're operated separately, your headers and your footers, because you've, um, if you've taken the link off your headers it doesn't carry through to your footers, so you need to do those separately as well, but we'll address that when we come to do our actual footers um, in the thesis itself. So all I'm going to do here is simply go back to my previous section go back to my header and we'll just close out of that for the time being ready for applying our style references in the next video.